Let's give John a warm welcome up to the stage. I sit on my front porch, tongue in half-smoked attempts to nurse wounds which run deeper than any inhalation. I suckle these rotten ironies, knowing this is the only action my lips will be getting for a while. Aww. I keep relighting this burnt fire, pondering why I am too righteous to buy my own tobacco, when every day I stain my teeth with last week's supposed epiphanies. You see, the smoke in me, we got something special. Its abrasive melodies fill my head just long enough to ask myself stupid questions that I, na that I, na that I naively believe will be answered with each exhalation. Why am I too noble to scratch the itch of my lopsided testicles unless it's love? <laughs> I continue on posing apologetic rhymes like, why are there so many more tears of, of sorrow than tears of joy? Why is my hope run follow and my courage decided to be coy? I look out at those lies stretched halfway across all your pretty faces, but I see you right through your eyes to the shrill voice in all your heads that is screaming, be original. Well, to that nagging voice I say, what the fuck is original about a broken heart? What is original about waking up every night and crying until the sun shines disgrace on an all too wet pillow? What is original about fantasizing your own suicide even though you only create those dreams to make something more dramatic than your lost love? What is original about hurting so bad that you know it is either right or die? So here is a uniquely unoriginal poem from my broken heart. It is titled, So Breathe. Breathe with me now. <sighs> crying. Crying is just not enough. Sometimes we need to create. Sometimes we need to scream. At the top of our pierced lungs, at 4.47 a.m. on the fourth straight night of waking up in the dark of a bad dream. And I tear the seams of my frigid heart as I start to believe that my bed may never be warm again. So I get up and run. Run as fast as these numb legs can carry me away from even a faster racing heart. And I know that one more step and my heart and my lungs are going to fucking explode. And as I fall, I see that my karmic bank of creation is fucking empty and it's time I make a deposit, even if it's just one hollow word. Love, the most trite, misused, abused, beautiful, is all I wish I could stop thinking of. So I spit and stutter, rhyme like a hopeless white boy rapper, and endlessly <laughs> mutter a thousand other things, pretending they all don't mean the same goddamn thing. That to live is to suffer. But underneath the pain, lies the stem cell of a glorious being who of wings that can spread from your darkest moments to my own death. And if you believe in me, then you believe in yourself and in the ability to truly find help. So when tears see the lines of your ragged cheeks and you're trying so hard to breathe that you cannot even speak, remember. Remember Nelson Mandela dying for 27 years in apartheid's only prison, only to see the light of day and freedom for his people once again. Remember Gandhi marching 240 miles to stand face to face with colonialism's iron fist, only to make salt. Remember Dr. King as he stood out at a sea of hate to say that he would die to see a dream of not his, but 10 million other people's freedom ring. Remember Jesus smiling as he's being nailed to fear's blasphemous cross. And remember little Johnny 
at the age of seven with his loss of one beloved goldfish and his courage to wash her down the toilet with one little kiss. Remember that I stood up here at this trembling microphone in my darkest hour and said that your heart may be broken, trampled, and mishandled, but it is never dead. Yeah.